a failure to wean from cardiopulmonary bypass and temporary bridge to cardiac rest and recovery. These are the cardiac indications. These are the exclusion criteria for ECMO, which any book will give you. You all just have to go through it. These are the pulmonary indications for ECMO because ECMO initially started for pulmonary conditions and then it was gradually switched over to cardiac conditions. These are the relative and the absolute contraindications for ECMO. The point to emphasize here is that the time when to put the patient on ECMO. Whoever, whichever hospital starts an ECMO program, it is paramount that the entire team sits together and decides, okay, fine, these are the protocols to be followed. Once these values are not met, we will put on ECMO. There's no point debating, saying for two hours or three hours, we'll wait and watch, no.